Every year, the Sarasota Downtown Merchants Group transforms Five Points Park into a Parisian-inspired outdoor marketplace named La Marche Bohemian. Here with me now is Ron Soto, owner of Soto's Optical Boutique, to give us all the important details about this annual event. Hi, Ron. How you doing? You've been doing this a number of years <laughs> now. Over a decade. Over a decade. Over a decade. Okay, but you're not the the president of the association no, anymore. No, I'm the uh, I, I I finally stepped down as being president. Okay. Uh, it was a one year gig that was 15 years oh, ago. Gosh. Okay. Darcy, who owns Darcy's Clothing Store on Main Street, is the new president, all and right. Harmony, who owns Lotus, is the vice president. Wow. And I'm kind of gone to the fundraiser part of it. All right. So great team. You have a great team. We got a good team. All right. So tell us, uh, tell our viewers about La, La Marche. Please. Well, what exactly it is? It's a French flea market, and we take or oh, the artist take old things and repurpose them. For instance, we had an artist there that would take old car parts and uh, would take like a crankshaft that would come up and maybe a valve cover and the valve cover would be the light for your desk. Pretty neat stuff. He would take old like like 57 Plymouths or whatever with the old headlights like that and that could be a, a light for your desk okay. or whatever. But neat stuff. Neat stuff. What about some of the art, other artists and how many do you have? Uh, sure. We have around 42 I think artists right now. Okay. Uh, we may have up to 50 by the time the uh, thing comes up because we have people every day sure. coming into sure. it. Uh, but they have all kinds of stuff from clothing to hats to you name it. It's all there. Furniture, there's a little bit of everything, something for everybody. Okay. And it's just kind of neat to walk up and down and see all the things that they've created with it's, the old stuff. Yeah, and it's right in Five Points, so it takes up the whole um, the Five whole area. Points Park under the shade trees, so it's nice and cool. Mm -hmm. uh, we have music. Uh, it's a nice place just to come over, take an hour, a couple hours, whatever. Come on out and take a look. Okay, so what, what are the dates and the times? I know it's coming up. It's this it, weekend. It's November the 5th. Okay. It goes from 10 o'clock in the morning until 5 o'clock. So if you're watching this on Friday, it's tomorrow. Okay. And if it's Saturday you're watching this, it's going on right now. It's perfect. Get <laughs> yeah. down there, right? Hurry up. Yep. So, okay, good, good. And, um, wow. Food trucks? I mean, is there other things to do? Besides? We don't have food because we have such fantastic restaurants downtown. Yeah. You can go to any of them, have a little breakfast, have a little lunch, and then stroll around through the uh, sure. through the uh, the well, event. Yes, yeah. So yes, why why not just do that and take advantage of our beautiful downtown for the whole day? Yeah. yeah. Some people kind of wonder what, why do we do this? We do little events like this all the time mm -hmm. throughout the year yep. to raise money. And then the money that we do raise, we end up buying Christmas ornaments. We put up all the uh, Christmas ornaments for downtown. That's wonderful. So all those little snowflakes and uh, the wreaths and stuff you see on the poles, mm -hmm. that's actually done by our downtown merchants. The Christmas tree that you find in Five Points Park, which is about 40 feet tall, uh, that's all done and purchased by the downtown merchants and put up and taken down. And, okay. Else. So that is why the Downtown Merchants Association came about, right? You wanted to better our community. Is that a yes. good synopsis? Yes, and our actual real name, even though we're the Downtown Merchants, our real name is the Sarasota Downtown Enrichment Association because we try to enrich downtown. Okay. What are some of the other things that you've done for, for well, us? Uh, our Christmas tree lighting will be on uh, December the 1st, which is a Thursday night mm -hmm. at uh, 7 o'clock. It's not really an event, uh, but the public, if they want to show up to watch Santa Claus and stuff, put up the, uh, or light Aww. up the Christmas tree, fine, we, we encourage it. Uh, we put on this thing called New Year's Eve, the pineapple drop every year. So you do that as well. It's the okay. biggest party, literally the biggest party south of uh, Manhattan. Wow. Um, we have uh, three stages this year, a little bit of something for everybody. Mm -hmm. So a, a place called uh, 22N will be playing on the main stage. Okay. Ch uh, Chaz Collins, who does country. Matter of fact, he's in the top 10 artists according to the CM, uh, CMAs. Wow. Uh, 
and then we have Sarasota Beats on State Street. Okay. So Sarasota Beats does more of rave type of music. Uh, we have rock and roll and we have country. There's okay. something there for everybody. That's great. Did I mention that we turn Five Points Park into a carnival? So we bring in 14 <laughs> different carnival rides. We have food all over the place. And this is New Year's Eve. This is New Year's so Eve. So it's a family friendly event. We encourage the family. The carnival opens up uh, right around noon. Okay. So you can bring the kids down, have them go on the rides, and then as the night goes on it becomes more adult <laughs> okay. from around nine o'clock on and uh, right. of course then the, the parties with the bands and everything else. There you go. So uh, obviously what you do is so very important to our community not just for the upcoming event this weekend but basically year-round. You year-round. Yeah. We put on the Sarasota Seafood Festival. We do art shows throughout the year um, but it's 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 a it's a fun thing to do, it you know, is. and it's it's neat. Not everybody can afford on New Year's Eve to go out to a fancy place and spend three hundred dollars sure. for a plate. So this gives the average person, that plumbers, the the electricians, the opticians, <laughs> <laughs> it gives them a place where they can come to sure. and have a good time for not a lot of money. There you go. Wonderful. Well, thank you, and um, we'll hope you have really good weather for this weekend and have a great turnout for The weather's show. supposed to be great, and thank you. Do you realize that this is our fourth interview for doing this? It goes by quick, doesn't it? I mean, the year's I just, blink and oh, it's tomorrow. I know, I know. Well, that's good and bad, but <laughs> that's a different subject. Yeah. Thanks, Ron. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. We hope you enjoyed the show today, and thank you for joining us on Suncoast FYI. If you would like to promote your nonprofit or community event, we would love to hear from you, and this is a complimentary service. Please call our producer, Adam Huntley, at 941-361-4645 or email fyi at snntv.com. To view previous episodes, go to snntv.com and click on the What's On tab. I'm Nancy O'Neill, and we'll see you next week on Suncoast FYI.